some motherfucking trap music. Christmas, where heavy bass is on every little kid's wish list, and I am Santa, so I'm yelling ho. ho. This isn't food friendly. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I know I always can say that, but this time I promise I'm here to stay. I know I always pop up at the end of the year, throwing a Christmas video and then I disappear again, but I promise that will not be happening anymore. I'm going to try to stay on track and try to film videos consistently to get it out there. So today's video, you could already tell what's what the deal here. We're going to be doing a Christmas glam look. It's an affordable Christmas glam look with a glitter lip. Brady Bright says it's like a bootleg Pat McGrath, bootleg Isha Kior type of glitter lip, but it's really affordable and it's super easy. I want y'all to be the Beyonce at a Christmas party. You could go and just slay with this look. This look is a guaranteed slay. So before the video starts, please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I've already done my eyebrows, set my eyes, and primed the concealer and everything, but I'm gonna set once more with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, just to make sure the shadows blend a lot easier. So the palette we're gonna use today is the Jaclyn Hill palette for Morphe. I absolutely love this palette. I can use it for a whole ton of looks. First color we're gonna start out with is this tannish color right here in the middle. Just put it all over my lid. So next I'm gonna go on with the color right next to that color. I'm just gonna put that in my crease bone. Then we're just gonna build the color up in my crease and start using a shade a little bit darker than that. We're using this reddish brown shade in the corner. Now I'm going to take this Morphe M441 brush, it's a small tapered crease brush and I'm going to use this toasty brown color in the bottom left, in the bottom right hand corner. It's going to be our last transition shade, we're just going to try and deepen up the crease so we can cut the crease right after. Now I'm taking this fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend out all the colors so they blend seamlessly. Now it's time to cut the crease and I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this random flat top brush. I have this bad habit and when I do my cut creases I don't breathe so I'm kind of out of breath. So after we're done cutting the crease, I'm going to be taking my Nubian's palette by Juvia's Place. I'm going to be taking two colors out of this palette, taking this nice tan taupey, not taupey, beige color to set my cut crease. I'm going to be taking this brown color in the same palette and just setting, we're not setting, we're going to be adding that to the corner. I'm taking my Morphe M441 brush once again. I'm gonna take in the darkest brown in that palette and just gently go over our crease to make a more prominent line. And of course, we're gonna blend this up. So now we're down to my favorite part. We're gonna be adding glitter. So I'm taking this NYX little mini liquid crystal. Okay, I'm not bleeding. Time for lashes, I'm applying the Style Queen Bee from Coco Lashes. 
Now I'm taking this MAC mascara. I'm just gonna apply this to blend my falsies and my realsies. Cheap blush. Take five. Okay, so I am back. So next I'm going to our skin. I need to prime my face and apply my color corrector first and then I'm gonna go on to foundation, concealer, contour, all that jazz, highlight, blush, all of that. So like I said, the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face and I'm gonna be using the Nivea's Men's Post Shave Balm. I'm gonna take in a, quite a handful of this. This looks like. So now I'm picking my orange color corrector just to color correct under my eyes and around my mouth to get those dark spots. I never skip this step, especially if I'm going for like a full coverage glam look because it honestly helps so much. It conceals everything under it. The foundation I'm gonna be using today is the Lancome Tans Idol Ultra Wear. I just got this and I've used it twice already and I am absolutely in love. It is a satin finish, which I love. I really love the foundation. Even though it's a new pickup for me, it's really a favorite. flat top brush that I love. Also, my is only $1 um, on Shopless Aid. I'm telling you, that place is a gold mine. You can get such good quality products for only $1. This looks really orange on camera. Yikes. This is my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Cafe. <laughs> to contour, I'm taking my ABH foundation stick in the color Earth just to snatch my cheekbones. Set my under eye, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm also gonna be using that to snatch my contour even more. Just setting my contour with this. I'm powdering my face with my bare minerals bare pro powder. This is one of the best powders I've ever owned. I'm gonna be taking the Jordana blush in Last thing before we set our face, we're going to be taking this Wet n Wild highlighter in Precious Petals and applying that on my cheekbones. Just using this AOA Studio highlighting brush. Again, shot Miss A. I want to be a little extra, so I decided to add the Fenty Beauty highlighter in Trophy Wife on my cheekbones. This is very pigmented. 
Now we're gonna be setting our face for Tamara Badesco. And I'm taking this Maybelline Master Fix setting spray to just hold everything together. So off camera while that was dry, I just went ahead and I did the rest of my eyes. I put black on my water line and I took a brown eyeshadow and smoked it on the bottom and put some mascara. Now it's time to get to the back part, which is the lips. So to begin with the lips, let me, let me zoom in closer. So we're gonna start off with the red lip liner and I'm taking this lip liner from, I think it's Milani and I'm just going to line my lips. Okay, so I decided to take a ColourPop um, liquid lipstick and LAX is um, it's really drying. I like cream lip liners, not pencils, so I would rather use a liquid lipstick just to line my lips to give it a little bit more oomph. As a lipstick, I'm going to be using this Milani Red Lipstick in Energized. And I'm just going to smear that all over my lips. Last for lip colors, I'm going to be taking this BH Cosmetics Red Lip Gloss I got in the kit. And it's in the color Cardinal. And now for the best part, I'm going to be taking this Costa Sense Glitter and taking a flat brush, just applying this to my lips. I didn't think this through, I'm not gonna talk. I feel like I should set this. I told me this isn't wrong. I told me this isn't. Let me stop. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And like I said once before, please subscribe down below and give the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year.